Welcome to Krishna Project Outcom. Project title is a secure, efficient data collection algorithm based on self-adaptive sensing model in mobile internet of vehicles. Now we are going to see the abstract existing research on data collection using the wireless mobile vehicle network emphasizes the reliable delivery of information. However, other performance requirements such as life cycle of nodes, stability and security are not set as primary design objectives. This makes data collection ability of vehicular nodes in real application environment inferior. By considering the features of nodes in wireless IOV, such as large scales of deployment, volatility, and long time delay, an efficient data collection algorithm is proposed for mobile vehicle network environment. An adaptive sensing model is designed to establish vehicular data collection protocol. The protocol adapts to group management in model communication. The vehicular using node in group can adjust the network sensing chain according to sensing distance threshold with surrounding nodes. In addition, secure data collection between sensor nodes is undertaken as well. The simulation and the experimental research shows that the vehicular could realize secure and real-time data collection. Now we are going to see the flow diagram. First, the network model is created. Here, the stations and the number of mobile vehicles are created in the network. After that, according to the self-adaptive sensing model, the neighbor nodes are all find out. Then it broadcasts the messages with the help of RTS and the CTS packets. RTS is request to send, CTS is clear to send. Using this packet, the broadcast messages are forwarded. Then it forwarded to the next node in the network. If the hop is completed, it means then the packet transmission is processed. That is, it finds out the route and it performs the communication. If the hop is not completed, it means it broadcast messages until it, it is completed. These are all processed only by a self-adaptive sensing model. Finally, the performance is analyzed in which the proposed self-sensing model is compared with the existing approaches. Now we are going to see the output demo. First open the terminal window. Then go to the directory. Then type in a space file name dot tcl. This is the main command to run our code. Give enter. Now the nodes is created. And uh, the self according to the self-sensing model, the nodes informations are all updated here and the security is mentioned as the with the hash function. So this is the network animator window. Here only we see the output result. To run our simulation, click on the play button. Here first the security packet is forwards its key to the destination so only we get this like that so these two are the towers that is E and B's which are connected in a wired link these are all the vehicles that move in the location now the packet starts to communicate according to the self sensing model these packets are communicated, so these informations which node, uh, which is the source node, which is the destination node, and which positions it is located, all informations are gathered by these towers. So that only we, we see in here. So at which time which node communicates with the destination node, which is the next hop, and how many time taken to perform the communication process all are displayed here so that are all sensed in this tower so now it again the node starts to communicate so vehicles are all move in that area without placed in a static location to see the performance of this 
back to the terminal window and then type GNU plot DV dot plot. So this is the DV graph in which the TDMA, STDMA, and self sensing model are compared. In X axis, number of nodes are plotted, and in Y axis, transmission DV is plotted. In varying the number of nodes, we have to calculate the transmission DV, that is, partial transmission DV, which is measured in milliseconds. Our self sensing proposed model has less DV than the existing systems. To see the another graph, type GNU plot THR that is throughput dot plot. This is a throughput graph. Here we vary the simulation time and find out the throughput for each and every unit time. So here TDMA, HDMA, and self sensing model are compared. So, our proposed self sensing model achieves a high DV than the existing system. The throughput are measured in megabits per second. Hence, we conclude that the performance of our proposed sensing model is uh, increased than the existing system. That's our demo is completed now. Thank you for watching this video.